Welcome to the Get Fit Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Slim Down and Shape Up. My name is Ben Greenfield and I'm the Get Fit Guy. Years ago, Esquire magazine published an article called The Hardest Workout in the World. In it, the author outlined a man named Don Wildman's grueling, intense, multi-stage weight training workout, which he dubbed The Circuit. This workout was exactly what the 75-year-old Don had used for many years to stay in amazing shape and is exactly the kind of winter workout that can come in pretty handy during this busy holiday time when your chances to exercise can be few and far between. Basically, you can think of an incredibly difficult workout as a strategy to put a lot of work into your body prior to letting it rest for a few days at grandma's house while you stuff your face with holiday fruitcake. Or perhaps it's a good way to get your body jump-started back into fitness mode after a week of holiday festivity and partying. Well, the first time I went to the gym to do the hardest workout in the world, I thought it would be a piece of cake. After all, if a 75-year-old can do it, I should surely be able to manage it too. But when I crawled out of the gym three hours later, I was thinking a bit differently, and my body was feeling the effects of that challenge for the next several days. However, despite it being an incredibly difficult and effective workout, I have an issue with the routine. It's done primarily with weight training machines. And in just a moment, I'm going to tell you why I have an issue with that and also give you my alternative hardest workout in the world, a twist on Don Wildsman's circuit. So why is it a problem that the circuit relies upon machines? Well, when compared to free weights, machines carry a higher risk of injury because they lock you into a single restricted range of motion. By contrast, when you use free weights like dumbbells, barbells, and kettlebells, you get stronger. Research has shown that free weights help you to get stronger much faster than weight machines. You get more athletic. Free weights also build more balance and coordination compared to weight machines. You're more efficient with time. Most free weight exercises like deadlifts or squats to overhead presses recruit way more muscle groups than weight machines, so you work more muscle and you burn more calories in less time. You can move through a greater range of motion with free weights. Many weight machines simply don't feel right to your body, no matter how much you adjust the seat or the handles. But with free weights, you have complete freedom of rotation so that something like an overhead shoulder press can feel much more natural and comfortable with free weights compared to weight machines. Finally, you typically have to drive to the gym to use weight machines. But you can use free weights and your own body weight in the comfort of your own home, thereby cutting your time expenditure substantially. So. In this episode, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do the hardest workout in the world with the special twist of using only body weight or free weights rather than weight machines. Now, here's how it goes. The circuit consists of 16 groups of exercises, which are done as supersets. And supersets means they're back-to-back -back exercises in the case of a double superset or even back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back exercises in the case of a triple superset with no breaks and minimal rest between everything. For each group of exercises, you simply alternate between the exercises in each group. Go into this workout well-rested and don't plan on doing anything hard for a few days after you've finished it. Well, of course, this entire routine was modified by yours truly to make it more functional to involve fewer sitting down exercises and also, as I mentioned, to be less reliant on weight machines while still all holding true to the spirit and overall effectiveness of the original routine that it's derived from. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. For group one, you're going to do standing dumbbell shoulder presses in which you press the weight overhead and bring it back down, and you're going to do that 30 times, then 20 times, then 10 times. But for each set of standing dumbbell shoulder presses that you do, you're going to follow it up with standing dumbbell curls, in which you curl dumbbells up, one to the right side, one to the left side, back and forth, again, for 30, 20, 10 reps. So you would do 30 dumbbell shoulder presses, then 30 dumbbell curls, then 20 dumbbell shoulder presses, 20 dumbbell curls, then 10 and 10. And you do all of that with minimal rest. Okay, so now that you've got the hang of things, let me explain to you the other 15 groups that you do. 
Group two is standing barbell push presses, dumbbell side raises, leg raises, and side crunches. Now, if you don't know how to do any of those exercises, rather than me walking it through you in a very long and descriptive audio podcast, I've instead got a complete list of every exercise with a description for every exercise over at quickanddirtytips.com. Just look for episode number 215 of the Get Fit Guy, which is what you're listening to right now. Okay, group three is super slow push-ups followed by side plank rotations. Group four is dumbbell chest press followed by seated leg raises. Group five is dumbbell rows followed by sit-ups. Group six is pull-ups or pull-downs followed by standing crunches. Group seven is one of the few groups that is actually just one exercise, and that is dumbbell squats, in which you hold a dumbbell to your chest and perform a squat. Group eight is barbell upright rows, followed by alternating side sit-ups. Group nine is front plank taps, followed by superman. Now, if you're keeping track, we're already up to 19 different exercises. Group 10 is front lunges, followed by calf raises. Group 11 is stability ball bent leg curls, followed by stability ball straight leg curls. Group 12, another solo group, is reverse lunges. Group 13 is dumbbell reverse curls, followed by regular and alternating sit-ups. Group 14 is dips and laying scissor kicks. Group 15 is dumbbell front raises, followed by burpees. And finally, group 16 is deadlifts, followed by leg levers. Now, I'll link in the show notes over at 215, as I mentioned, to a very good description, as well as a link to an exercise video for every single exercise that I just mentioned. So you could learn this routine and maybe throw it in a few times over the holidays. I'm actually doing it tonight because I've taken the entire weekend off hanging out with friends and eating lots of foods, including a 24-ounce piece of beef last night. So I think I'd like to turn that into muscle. So I'm headed to the gym after I record to do this very workout, the hardest workout in the world. Now, if you do it or you have more questions about it, head over to facebook.com slash getfitguy, ask your questions, or join the conversation over there. And until next time, I'm Ben Greenfield, the Get Fit Guy, asking you, what are you waiting for? Go get fit. 